Hi Aries and welcome to your general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aries and it is a general reading so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay but if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can find all that information in the description box. All right, let's see, Aries, what is going on with you in the second half of June? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Also, the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. Just saw the Nine of Cups. Somebody's wishing for something. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Queen of Swords crossed by the Three of Cups. Okay, it feels like somebody is um, keeping their distance or just really setting up boundaries, especially in terms of a reconciliation here. I feel like maybe there was a reconciliation or a coming together with another person that felt like it was in the air or that it was a potential, a possibility. Um, but I feel like you're almost, if this is you, okay, because it could be your person, um, setting some boundaries and so like that is not happening because of that or that's one of the reasons let's see or it could just be you're just kind of standing back from the possibility of having a, a reconciliation with someone all right so for your energy here we have the hanged man the three of wands and the strength card okay so leo's energy um yeah, I, I really feel like you are holding back. I feel like you're just kind of, um, you're either like beginning to uncover certain standards that you have. So I feel like you're feeling a little bit differently than you, than you were in the past. And what you're doing is, I mean, it does feel like it's a bit of a waiting energy, but I'm seeing it more of actually standing back, taking a step back from the waiting for a reconciliation. And again, this has to do with you setting some standards or even some boundaries. All right, now, I do get that you are also kind of um, not waiting exactly, but like looking into the future concerning this person, maybe just wondering um, where this all might lead or where this is going to end up. But it's like through this process, you are getting stronger. And I feel like you are finding more and more strength within you. It's like you're, it's like as soon as you um, uncovered those standards, almost like you didn't uncover them. It's like you re refound them. I think that's a better way to phrase it. You refound those standards that you have and how much you're worth. So the more that you're doing that, like the stronger you're actually becoming. Let's see what's going on with the other person here. We have, ooh, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Lovers. Okay, so Gemini also showing up here. Okay, so I feel like this person's stance at the moment is that this person is seeing the energy of the connection at the moment as being like an ending. Um, however, even though that's their stance, they're, they're feeling like, like they want you. So very interesting. Um, it's like, and this is the nine of cups that I actually saw, um, while I was shuffling. Um, it's like they have a wish, almost like a fantasy, but for whatever reason, at the moment, this person is taking it as a given that this is this is an ending and it's actually painful for them. I, I'm not sure yet if they're expressing that to you, but it's like the more that you're moving towards strength, they're moving towards love. For some of them, this might be um, a choice that they have to make concerning love. Let's see the potential outcome here. And we have the eight of pentacles. Okay. so. Definitely a work in progress. I, I don't see this as really being an ending, to be honest. I feel like there is some kind of an ending that's happening at the moment, but I don't see it as a final, final ending, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like this is a work in progress and something is happening or there's going to be some effort or focus put onto this connection, either by the both of you or, or one of you. Um, and I don't think it's you because I see you taking a step back. So let's actually clarify. 
let's see what is going on here and I'm sorry about the background noise if you can hear it I have to have the door open because it's pretty hot here and the air condition actually makes more noise and I think right now there's yeah it's a plane <laughs> all right so let's clarify that Queen of Swords with the three of cups three clarifiers for the main situation and we have the Knight of Wands the magician and the hermit okay so we also have Aries Okay, which is your sign, um, and Virgo. So some of you might be dealing with um, some of these signs that I've been calling out, or maybe you have these signs strongly in your chart, or maybe they do. Ooh, okay. Something, I feel like there was some kind of impulsivity um, that was taking place between the two of you, like maybe, um, it, it could have even been from the both of you but I feel like there was either a lot of back and forth or um, just a lot of impulsivity, frustration, maybe even anger. Um, I do also get that there, there was chasing. So it could be that you were pursuing this. Um, and actually what that led to is this hermit, right? Um, either isolation or you know this distancing and I feel like that's why you're at this place where you you know you're just taking a step back you're just taking a step back if this is and I do feel like this is you but it doesn't have to be this could be this could totally be your person um, somebody definitely took a step back you're taking a step back now for sure but here it could have even been the other person um, and it almost feels like you know it kind of went from one extreme to the other Possibly even a little bit um, suddenly. All right. Let's see the hanged man for your energy. Justice, okay, Libra and the two of cups. Ooh, see? Yeah, there is that part of you that, you know, still wants this deep down, or at least you still, even if you don't want it, um, you do feel the love, you feel the connection. But at the same time, you also want things to be just, you want things to be equal, you want things to be right, you want things to be the way that they should be. Um, in a love connection and because what I'm getting here is that obviously they were not um, you you're you're taking that step back and what I'm getting here is that that's actually the right decision for you at least for now let's see the three of wands the three of cups and the star Okay, Aquarius, we have a whole bunch of signs showing up here. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's just the same message coming through that, you know, because this is this is how you feel, um, the second card. And again, it's like you do have, in, at least in the back of your mind, this hope or this wish that this reconciliation will actually happen at some point. But again, you want it to happen with the energy of justice. You want things to be balanced. You want things to be done in the right way. And that's why I'm saying, I feel like you've, you've um, set some boundaries or some standards. You're, you're not going to accept this, this connection if it's not in the right way. All right, let's see strength. Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Okay, yeah. So there's been a lot of a lot of stress um, and a lot of anxiety concerning this connection. I feel like for the most part, you you're overcoming that, or you have already overcome that. If you haven't, don't worry. We have the Four of Swords here um, together with this Nine of Swords. So you are healing. I feel like you know if there was. Um, any like, you know, just staying up all night thinking about it or crying or um, over analyzing and just having, you know, scenarios running around in your mind over and over and over again, 
you're coming out of that. You're healing that. You're finding your strength. And like I said, the more that you discover or rediscover your worth and your standards, the, the stronger you get, the more that you heal this and the more that this Nine of Swords goes away, which is that, that stress, that anxiety. So let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the Ten of Swords. The Sun and Judgment. Ooh. All right. Uh, Leo. Yeah. Leo. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Um, this ending that this person is pretty much, you know, seeing it as an ending or just trying to accept it as an ending. This ending is actually pushing them to make a big discernment about their happiness. I feel like there's um, a lot that's being revealed to them, either spiritually or psychologically, emotionally, um, concerning their happiness, right? And I feel like that's why we then have the Nine of Cups for, for how they feel or what they're thinking. Um, because now they're, it's like they're realizing how much they actually want this. I don't feel like they didn't want it before, but there's a major wake up call here because I feel like this person did not expect to feel so much pain with this ending. Um, they see, it's like they're seeing you now as their son, as their happiness. Let's see the Nine of Cups. The Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. They're trying to be very practical about this. It's like they're aware of the fact that they have like this fantasy um, of what it would be like, you know, to to be together with you. Um, but they're trying to be practical about it, and I I feel like they're actually trying to turn their back to this desire, almost like yeah, you know, if we can be friends or, you know, we can still like maybe work together or have some kind of a practical um, connection maybe. Or they're just trying to be practical in terms of, yeah, you know, this can't work out. This is, this is done for whatever reason. Um, for some of them, there might be a third party involved, all right, having the lovers as well as the three of pentacles here. Um, but again, I'm getting with that Eight of Cups that it's like they're trying to turn their back to how they're feeling. Uh, if there is a third party, this is also them wanting to turn their back to that. But I don't see them doing it yet just yet. I feel like it's mostly them turning their back to, to their desire for the time being. But let's see the lovers for their final card. The Eight of Wands and the Five of Cups. Ooh, okay. Well, this person is definitely moving towards some kind of action here, okay, with the Eight of Wands. There's definitely some kind of an action concerning this decision that they need to make um, concerning love. So it might just be about you, but it might also involve another person, as I said. Whatever the case is, um, there's a lot of sadness attached to that, attached to that decision. I do see them moving in that direction, like very, um, very strongly, but there's also grief together with that. And I feel like actually that's why we have this eight of pentacles that it's, it's still a work in progress. Um, I'm also getting that for some of you, this is also this person approaching you, possibly communicating with you. But I, I don't see it as being this like happy ending just yet with that Five of Cups. Um, it's I feel like they're the ones who are going to be disappointed, not you. Let's see that Eight of Pentacles. 
Four of Cups, the Three of Wands again, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's it's taking a little bit of time. Whatever it is that's happening here, it's taking a little bit of time. Um, I feel like there's been some passiveness just overall in this connection. It feels like, you know, maybe things have felt like they've been at a standstill, both on your side as well as on their side, kind of like not really seeing much, um, like many changes. But there's, there's some effort that is being put in here. There's some focus on whatever it is that needs to be done, um, looking into the future. But I feel like it, there's still some work that needs to be done concerning possibly this person, because I see this person being um, the one who had turned their back, um, really sticking to something here rather than being sneaky about it and, you know, just going around and around. Doing what they have to do in a very straightforward manner. I feel like that's, that's the thing here straightforwardness because with the seven of swords I'm getting it's you know it hasn't been very straightforward so yeah for the time being there is some effort there is something happening especially here with this eight of wands but I feel like it's not it's not completing just yet but then again this reading is only meant to be for like a two week <clears throat> time span give or take so we'll see. All right, Aries, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So yeah, depending on whether you believe in luck or not, okay, you can take that figuratively speaking. And that's how I see this as just the universe being on your side. The universe is there to support you and things are working out in your in your favor, okay, regardless of what's happening here. So yeah, Aries, that is it. I thank you so much for watching and much love.